Welcome to the channel. It is one of my favorite times of the year. It is time for the Perseids meteor shower. So stay tuned. I'm going to take you on a journey of what is the meteor shower? Where am I going to shoot it? What am I taking to shoot it? And just the overall experience of why is this? one of my favorite astrophotography events of the year. If you're interested in learning how to actually photograph a meteor shower, be sure to check out this video that I've previously posted. It'll walk you through all the steps you need to capture incredible astrophotography images like these. So to determine when a meteor shower is going to peak, I use the app PhotoPills, and this is where I start with all of my planning to understand when is my best opportunity to see the most meteors. So for this year in 2024, it looks like the Perseids meteor shower is going to be the star of the show. See what I did there? With only 48% moon, that is going to diminish some of the visibility of the meteors. However, on the peak morning of August 12th at about 5.30 in the morning, we can anticipate seeing around 83 meteors per hour. This is going to be an amazing show. So my recommendation of where to watch, I know I personally always try to get as far away from city lights as possible. So for the second year in a row, we are headed to some of the darkest skies in the Northern Hemisphere, and that is in the Big Bend region. We are specifically staying with some of our amazing friends at the Far Flung Outdoor Center. Now, if you're looking for an amazing way to not only have a place to stay in their beautiful casitas, but you're looking to experience the Big Bend area, cannot recommend them enough for either kayaking or canoeing down the Rio Grande River, ATV experiences, as well as Jeep tours. I know I was, I slept on the Jeep tour, but amazing way to experience this part of Big Bend. So what are my goals for this year? I'm really big on setting goals and you can see how I set my year up in advance in terms of my photography goals. I'm always trying to improve year over year and meteor showers are no exception. I would love this year to capture some much cleaner images and in doing so, I'm gonna try to implement a, a new tool for at least my meteor shower photography, and that is the use of a star tracker. So what the star tracker is going to do is allow the particular portion of the sky that the meteors are emanating from, or the radiant point, that is going to stay in frame all night. The camera is going to follow the stars as they move across the sky, which is then going to create an image organically that looks a lot more like this, which I had to edit in post-processing in order to have all the meteors orient in the correct direction. Aside from this, always looking to level up my foreground game or having a very interesting subject. So the verdict's out on where I'm shooting just yet, but there is no shortage of opportunities in the Big Bend region for some incredible, incredible foregrounds. I've got a new camera bag, so let's step over here and load it up with the gear we're gonna need to capture some images on this particular trip. So I'm super excited to be packing up this Shimoda camera bag, and I have another video, if you're interested in camera bags, discussing what's so great about this bag, but now let's fill it up. First camera we're gonna bring is gonna be the Sony A7R4. High quality, high resolution images. That'll go right there. My favorite go-to astro lens is going to be this Zeiss Alexia 2.8 21mm lens. This is a phenomenal, well-rounded lens. It is a manual focus and it actually has a nice hard stop at that infinity line and 99% of the time, I can just hard stop there and I know I'm gonna be locked in on the stars. Some additional kit for this year, I'm using a little bit of a Frankenstein setup here, but this has the Skywatcher mount on it with the equatorial mount, 
but it is paired with the move shoot move system. And on top of that, a nice ball head. So this is what I'm gonna try to use for polar aligning and tracking the stars across the sky. And here we have laser pointer as well. All of this gear is going to be linked in affiliate links down in the description below. Importantly, I'm gonna be bringing this Peak Design travel tripod and I've actually added some glow in the dark tape finally here, which is gonna be really helpful for not knocking my legs. But you'll notice something interesting about this tripod. The fact that I'm not using the OEM Peak Design head. This is actually a really right stuff ball head and I absolutely love this setup. The quick release is so nice and to me feel, felt much better than the OEM Peak Design head. So you can get this adapter plate here and I have my uh, center column taken off so you can see really just how small that is. But you can buy this adapter piece and put on whatever ball head you like. So fun fact. Important for shooting meteor shower first and foremost is battery power. So on top of bringing a ton of Sony batteries, I have some backup USB-C fast charging batteries here. Another very important aspect of shooting meteor showers is actually memory space or memory card. This is my little system that I have for myself. So face up, these memory cards are all ready to go. But however, if I shoot an entire card, I can put it back in here face down and that lets me know that it needs to be backed up or placed on my hard drive. Just a little tip there. Another important tool is going to be an intervalometer. In order to minimize camera shake, we're gonna be using an intervalometer. So something new this year that's coming in the bag is the Insta360 Ace Pro. And I actually have it on this Joby sort of gorilla pod here, but this has quickly become one of my favorite little behind the scenes kind of point and shoot type camera, but it also takes phenomenal night exposures in terms of just like quick and dirty B-roll. But in terms of ease of use, this is really incredible. And you can also shoot it while plugged into a USB-C, so it will run all night long. And last but not least, I'm also bringing my Sony a7 IV that I'm shooting on here along with the super sharp Sony 16 to 35 G Master f2.8. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my step-by-step -step planning process of getting ready for the 2024 Perseids meteor shower. Drop a comment below. Are you planning on shooting this? And if so, where in the world are you? Would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. Also the subscribe that just lets me know you enjoyed the content and I should keep creating more. I'm wishing you clear skies and happy shooting and especially happy meteor hunting over the next week. But in the meantime, we'll catch you on the next one.